My hide is made of burlap. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Ironhide. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So our front here, we have symbols. His name is Ironhide, Siege, War for Cybertron. Inside the box, a typical Siege artwork, which still looks so, so nice. On the other side of the box, we have Ironhide about to bust some deceptive chops. He is a deluxe class, a class of deluxe, a class of deluxe, a class of deluxe. On the top, Autobot symbol, Transformers, for Cybertron. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, and the other things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Ironhide, the first of our Wave 2 Deluxes. And here he is in his vehicle mode. And we're getting close here so we can take a look. That's the details. He's got some cannonage going on up front. Got some cannons going on there. Got the headlights done in an off-white with some gray in there. Autobot symbol right up front. Got the transclear and windshield. You can't see the back of his head there, so it is visible. Head syndrome, kinda, sorta. I mean, that's his head. Um, on the sides there, you can see the wheels actually have some nice molding to them. You got the gold stripe going down the side. His arms are pretty exposed up top. I would have liked that, you know, they didn't have to cover up the entire thing, but maybe have something to cover up at least that bit right there. Would have been nice. I don't know, but not well. It is what it is. You got some silver back there. That's a pretty nice molded detail throughout. Got his feet just kind of hanging out the back there. But it kind of works. It kind of works as far as the vehicle mode goes. Oh, not too shabby. There's the top. There's the bottom. Rolls. As rolling thing should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, Combiner Wars, Ironhide. Here he is with the Voyager Prime. Here he is with Hound and Sideswipe. Here he is with Cog. And here he is with Leader Magnus. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include uh, this BFG right here. It's just a cool looking uh, missile launcher, which I do quite like. Just done a dark gray with some red. Yeah, some of that uh, silver kind of battle damage paintwork on it. But... Pretty cool. I do dig it. And you can store it on either of these four ports up top. Have that going on. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. One thing that is kind of funny about this figure is since his uh, his feet are hanging out the back here, you can use the, uh, use the effects parts. You can plug them back here. And, and he can be a rocket van. Rocket van! But anyway, that is basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's! So, let's remove the gun, put that off to the side, and we shall begin. So first thing you want to do is you want to take these side panels here, just untab them, just bring them out to about here. You don't want to bring them all the way out because then you don't have room for these panels to swing out, so just bring them out to about here. Untab, bring that out, and then you open this up, open that up. Open that up, and you want to come to the front here. You want to take this front section and just bring that down, like so. Then you just want to take the body and just kind of angle that back, and take this whole assembly here and just swing that around, like so. You go straighten them back out, and you split the legs, close up this panel, take this panel, bring it down. There's a little, little tab and slot right there. Which kind of holds, but not that well. Close that up, bring that down, and voila. Um, yes, these panels do pop off pretty easily, but if you know what you're doing, not really a problem. So, just 
get all that situated and the legs are pretty much done so now moving on to the upper body so you want to take this section here open that up and then just separate the arms bring them out rotate bring it down or rotate bring it down and you got that all done this section you just want to bring back up snap that back into place flip his head up like so and then now as far as his chest goes you can just leave it flat like that if you want to but what you're supposed to do is it's on double hinge you just want to bend it at that hinge and this little uh, this little panel right here will drop into these slots right there and that is the proper way to transform his chest but again you know if you want to leave it flat hey totally up to you as always your toy display it however you wish but there you have that and i think we're done are we done yes we're done we we're done and there you go there you have iron hide in his robot mode and he's a good looking g1e cybertronian e iron hide i like the look of him I dig him. I dig him. So let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his chest, at his noggin. There it is. That's a pretty good looking head sculpt in my opinion. Nice silver on the face there. The eyes are done in blue. Kind of hard to see, but they are done in blue. But pretty nicely done head sculpt. Uh, the chest, the inside of his chest is all coated in silver paint, as you can see. So a lot of silver going on there. And just some nice molded details throughout. Got some big old chunky legs. Um, the battle damage paint job is only on his feet and right above his feet. So throughout the entire war, the only thing that got scuffed were his uh were his feet there. So hey, he he he, he uh, avoided more damage than most. And got some detail on the inside of these panels here. And move up the back. You can see it's a very clean transformation. Pretty cool. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is it feels like it's on the ball joint. Can't really tell, but there is there there is some wiggly waggle there. A little bit of wiggly waggly. He can look up a bit, he can look down a bit. Head can rotate a full 360. Arms can rotate a full 360, can move in and out at this end. You also have a transformation hinge which allows a little extra upward movement if you need it. Uh, you do have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. You have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. 90 degrees of a bend out of the knee and the feet have no upward or downward movement they just have lots of ankle tiltage and of course we can give him his weapon and we can just plug that right into his hand like so we can have that going on if you wish or you kind of bring it out to the side so you kind of hold it that way what i like to do is I actually like to uh take this and actually like tuck it under his arm that's how i like to do it Put that in, just kind of have him holding it like that. That works for me, but again, as always, your toy, display it however you wish. You do have this uh, post right here, so you can just kind of hold it like that. That side, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Obviously, you can, you know, plug it onto his arm, plug it onto his shoulder, plug it onto his leg. You can store it back here on his back if you wish. Uh, this will also plug in up here if you want to. Four reasons, hey, why not? Why not? But another thing you can do is you can take this section here and this will actually flip down and now this becomes a hammer, which is pretty cool. And you can hold it by this handle or you can hold it by this one. So there you go, it's got a cool little battle hammer going on, which I like, I dig that. And as far as the effects parts go, you know, you can just, you know, put these onto his shoulders or whatever, make it look like he's getting shot. Be like, arm, arm, arm. Why won't it stay? Arr. Okay, fine. Put it onto your chest then. Ah, my chest! Arr. Have that going on if you want. Um, you can also uh, plug it onto the missile launcher. There are two pegs here. You can just plug those on. 
have that going on if you wish. There are also posts back here as well. So you can also kind of take these smaller ones. And, oops, it will work like that. To kind of have like, you know, rocket hammer going on. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Hey, why not? Did I say why not? All things you can do if you want to do them. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Combiner Wars Ironhide. Here he is with Hound and Cog. Here he is with Prime and Sideswipe. And here he is with Magnus. So, there you go. And of course, if you want, you can totally arm him up with Cog's bits and pieces there. So there you have Ironhide. Um, my only complaint that's really just a nitpick is just uh, in the vehicle mode. I wish uh, there was just, you know, a panel just to cover up a little more of the exposed arms. But that's really my only issue with the figure. And again, that's just a nitpick more than anything. Otherwise, the vehicle mode works for what it is. The robot mode looks really cool. I do quite like the design of the robot mode. I really like the uh, rocket launcher slash battle hammer deal with the weapon. I think that's really cool. So all in all, yeah, there's some there's some fun stuff going on here. I dig them, so. There you go. Now these figures are starting to pop up at Walmart, so you might want to check your local Walmarts to see if they have these in stock. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Ironhide, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Hey Prime! Yes, old friend. Listen, I, I need to talk to you. Um, it seems as though there's a bit of a displeasure amongst the soldiers around here. Okay, I'm completely oblivious to people's feelings, so you're going to have to explain this to me. Well, you see, Prime, the soldiers just don't like you throwing... Oh, oh my... Everything! Is this that... Displeasure you were talking about? And, uh, hey, I got it right. But Prime... <laughs>